Nabi Kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam's death. How do you think the Sahaba felt when Nabi Kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam died? What do you think that they went through when a member of our family dies? How do we feel? The closer the member, the more we feel. Some of us don't even know whether it's day or night. This is how sad we are, and it is only natural to be sad at the time of death and at the loss of one's close ones. How do you think the Sahaba felt when Nabi Kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam died? Because this was not the death of an ordinary man; it was the death of the best of creation. It was the death of that person. Okay, they could not even tolerate separation from him, not even for a second. The one they loved more than themselves, their family, their children, everything. One comes and he says, "Kya Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, inni laqitu al-adu, wa laqitu abi fihim, fa samiitu laka minhu maqalid qabiha, falam azbir hatta ta'andhu bir'um." Ya Rasulullah, my father just came. He was with the enemy. He dishonored you. I couldn't tolerate this. I severed his head from his body. A second comes. She is carrying her child in sheets of cloth. It is at the time of jihad, and she comes to Nabi Kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ke ya Rasulullah, I know this son of mine. It cannot fight. I know it cannot make jihad. I know it cannot carry a sword. But ya Rasulullah, take this son of mine and use him as a shield. Whenever the kufar come from the right, hold my son in the way, and when they come from the left, hold my son in the way. A third comes and he stands before Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The kuffar attacking Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The words are flowing from this Sahabi. La yusibu kasahmun nahri dun nahri. And he is taking the arrows and he is taking the swords on his hands and his chest. A fourth comes, Ya Rasulullah. Inna kala habu alayka min nafsi wa inna kala habu alayka min waladi wa inni la kuna fil baydi fa azkuruk fa ma azbir hatta adi fa anzur alayk. Ke Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You are more dear to me than my soul. You are more dear to me than my family and children. When I am at home and I think of you, I become restless till I come and see you. I know one day you are gonna die. I know one day I'm gonna die. And I know, Ya Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when you die, such is your exalted status that you will be the um, with the ambiya. Ya Rasulullah, what will happen this of this fakir? This fear, fakir fears that when he enters Jannah, he will not be able to see you. Ya Rasulullah, just the thought of this separation distresses me. It was as a witness witnessed. Okay, Allah ma tana khama Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم نخامة إلا وقعت في كف رجل منهم فدلك بها وجه وجلة. When Isa صلى الله عليه وسلم would spit, they would rush to receive his spittum, and then they would anoint their faces and their body with it. As he says, والله إن رأيت ملك قط يؤذم أصحابه ما يؤذم أصحاب محمد محمد. But never has he witnessed a people so devoted to their master as he witnessed the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, bearing this in mind, I want you to tell me how do you think that these people felt when Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam left this world? This is why when we pick up the books of our hadith and the books on Sirah and Tarikh, we find as the Uthman ibn Ali taala anhu is motionless. There is no harakat whatsoever. There is no movement. He does not know what has happened. Hazrat Ali there and then falls unconscious. One of the Sahabi, when he finds out, he raises his hand. A Bedouin, okay, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Allah, these eyes were so I could see your blessed Nabi, and these ears were so I could hear his blessed voice. When he remains no more, what am I? What do I want these eyes and ears for? His prayer is answered. There and then he becomes blind. Fatima is saying, Ya Abata, Ajab Rabban Daa, Ya Abata, Ela Jibrail Naa, Ya Abata, Min Jannat Al Fardous Naa. The general Sahaba are saying, "Wallahi, wa didna anna mitna qabla." Only if Allah had not shown us this day, only if we had died before this. This was the general situation of the Muslims. Now look at the situation of Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiAllahu taala. This is Abu Bakr. When this is happening all around him, and this event has torn the Sahaba, and they have lost their patience and their tolerance, he comes. It is the last day. Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam told him to lead the prayer. He has led the believers in prayer, and then he comes and he takes permission from Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He takes leave for a short while. He makes his way to his home in Sunn, and he fulfills the need of his family. And then, as he is returning, he hears the news: that Inna Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam kadmat that the messenger of Allah is no more. Suddenly, tears begin to flow from his eyes, and the words that are flowing are: Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. That we all belong to the Almighty Allah and to the Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We will return. He makes haste. 
he hastens only to realize that this news and this event has done damage and it is and it has told tore the sahaba apart to such an extent that the one that they considered the strongest from amongst them the one from whom even the devil would run away he is standing with a sword in his hand and he is saying that the hypocrites claim that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa has died. Wallahi ma mat. By Allah he has not died. Walakinnahu dhahba ila rabbih kama dhahba Musa ibn Imran. But he has gone to meet his Lord. Just like Sayyidina Musa alayhi salatu wa salam went. And the messenger of Allah will return. And he will cut the hands and the feet of those people that are making these claims. By Allah, if Umar hears anyone saying that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa has died, Umar will sever their heads from their body. Umar will kill them. Now if this was the situation, of the strongest from amongst them what do you think was the situation of the general sahaba and those that had soft hearts and those that were considered weak from amongst the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu ajma'in intellect akal says that if in this situation the likes of a worker broke broke down it would have been justified why because he was the one that was loved by Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam the most. When he sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked, "Ayu nasi ahabu alik," the words that flowed were that I love Abu Bakr the most. He loved Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam the most. He was the one that was with Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam in childhood. He was the one that was the first to believe in Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was the one that embraced him and that accepted him when all others rejected him. He was the one whose house Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam, whose house Nabi Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam would visit every morning, every evening. He was the one who Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would consult. He was the one that stayed with Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in every delicate moment. He was with him in Uhud. He was with him in Badr. He was with him in Khandaq. You name it, he was with Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If in a situation like this, Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu broke down, it would be justified. But look at Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He comes. He takes permission from his daughter Sayyidina Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. He enters her house. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is lying in one corner covered with cloth. He comes and he uncovers the cloth and he kneels down and he begins to kiss the blessed face of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with tears flowing from his eyes. And then he says, Laysa ma yukulu ibn al-Khattab shay'a. The wafiya Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ke wa ibn al-Khattab is saying is wrong. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has left the world. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has died. Rahmatullah alayka ya Rasulullah ma atibuka hayyan wa mayyita. Allah's blessings be upon you, O Messenger of Allah. Saying this, looking at the delicate situation and looking at the Sahaba and the Muslims, he leaves and he makes his way to the masjid and he delivers a sermon to strengthen the Muslims and to console them and to bring them back. And he tells the Sahaba, O oh my companions, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had informed you that he was going to leave this world. Allah had informed you that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was to die. When Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was alive, whilst he was amongst you, Allah also told you that you are also to die. Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not say, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرَّسُولُ أَفَعِمْ مَاتَ أَوْ قُتِلًا كَلَبْتُمَ عَلَىٰ قَابِكُمْ وَمَنْ يَنْخَلِبْ عَلَىٰ خِبَيْ die. Everything will come to an end. Only your Lord will remain. Every soul will test. Will, every soul will, 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 will taste death. Oh people, whoever worship the Almighty Allah, the Almighty Allah is alive. The Almighty Allah does not die. Whoever took Muhammad as his Lord, then Muhammad remains no more. Fear the Almighty Allah and grab hold of your deen. It is only after this sermon do the, do the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and majma'een come around to the extent that the likes of Umar when he Abu Bakr recited the verse of the Quran وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ onto him Sayyidina Abu Bakr Umar radiallahu ta'ala anu says that it was like as if this were verse of the Quran had not been revealed so prior to this so many in silence and so many